back on. They might not be able to kill him. It was your own damn fault. Gremlo just sitting by his the tier one tower and doesn't want to uh, leave the safety of it. As it is pretty scary out there against monkeys forever and Empyrean. And Z Freak with the block. I mean, is this even still worth doing? I suppose it is. <laughs> Guess. Mm. Oh, too bad. Over here. been an absolute monster in basically every game this tournament for what the boar or sorry the uh, ward it's a uh, it starts at 100 xp yeah but there's wait, how much do you get from it they change it? Interesting. My bad. I, I thought it was still a uh, hundred at the start. They might have uh, scaled it down a little bit. It was uh, a bit ridiculous, uh, especially for now. If a mid laner gets it's like half a wave of XP. Top lane. Under attack. And then rushing down Empyrean too over here. He's taking so much harass. So at the tier two, uh, you are forced to get back here on Crow. Can't chase him any further than that. But top lane, it's a uh, going pretty decent for them. Burning through tons of regen here on two base side. I wanted to, I keep wanting to touch on the bottom lane, but uh, all these here, the heavy nukes, heavy harass coming out in the top lane, I'm afraid to look away, or even a moment. <laughs> in the bottom lane, uh, actually opted to go uh, one point into the bulwark against the nature's prophet, uh, Boris here, which you know, deals with the harass a little bit easier. Really? Interesting. I mean, I do like it. it. makes a lot of sense here because that he's able to contest the farm a little bit easier, but still pretty far ahead here on uh, the Nature's Province. 17, sorry, 18 and 7 now. Dying Half a, oh, sorry, three quarters of a level ahead of uh, the Mars, actually. very much needs it right now not doing so hot uh, 12 and 6 to the uh, 21 and 7 on the OD doesn't even have the bottle completed at four minutes in still queued up
A nice try there. Goat goes down elsewhere though, as uh, people are forced to, to rotate uh, without Crow inside the lane. Comes that much more dangerous, so go for monkeys forever there. But he's going for a bottle as well, actually. Being sent out to him right now. I mean, the heavy magical damage is uh, going to, to come in clutch against Bell Horse here. It's, you know, like you mentioned, just all the, the heroes up prior to the track being picked up against the TB, you needed a bit of magical damage in order to blow him up. So him having a good game is pretty important. And he's going to get it. Gremlo doesn't have a whole lot of mana to work with, and if nobody else can TP down here, I mean, there's just way too much harass. Empyrean ends up uh, stopping by as well. In fact, uh, this is what I said about Gremlo, you know, Radiant's avoiding confrontation. Guy's a little attack. bit of a coward. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Contributed uh, very little with how late he got in there. I think uh, Rathnay is just along cooldown for just a moment longer. Attack. If he had been able to commit that one on top of that kill, you know, he wouldn't have had to commit in and uh, wouldn't have gone down there. But nice find there. Very much needed there for Arkosh. Uh, bring back uh, the gold vantage a little bit in their favor. But, you know, even in death, he's accomplishing things more. here on this Nature's Prophet. Radiant's bottom lane is getting time. shoved in by Sunday the catapult. The <laughs> Tower's actually down a thousand HP. Your tier two, which is seven minutes into the game. I think they should, in all honesty. Radiant top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Purge the elements now. Small minds are quickly broken. <laughs> Just like that, net worth lead uh, that simply two base held is now completely Radiant's even. Top, top lane, they are going to be forced to give up this tower. Realizing that, okay, we didn't manage to get any of those Radiant's kills, but everybody's forced to walk all the way back to base right now after TPing top. Dyer's We've got the space to grab this tower with the exorcism. Just banish somebody for four seconds. Very cool. How about how about getting banished for four seconds? That sounds like a good time, right? Oh. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> kill behind us. Dyer's 
Nisa's bottom tower is under attack. Makes his life pretty difficult. He's uh his double wraith band that he's gone. Not that useful here. Usually you go this when you need a little bit more armor under your belt. I mean it does help you farm a bit faster as well. But uh it's all magical damage it's gonna be bring I'm uh, strangely uncomfortable now. <laughs> Uh. Interesting line of work you chose for being an awkward person. Interesting thing of awkward. Yeah. Awkward position for uh, go up there, just caught out by uh, cast, caught out by that soul siphon, ain't going nowhere as a crystal maiden. like that the fight Dyer's actually uh, does end up going the way of Arkosh and in Dyer's fact they get the bottom tower at the same fight. time normally when they take these losing Dyer's fights they get objectives elsewhere on the map attack. but just a botch initiation there uh, a couple of times by Boris a little bit out of position as he TPs in Dyer's and it's costing the mid tower as well in fact uh, things are not looking great now at 3k net worth it's just 11 minutes into the game here Arkosh Yeah, I mean, you're pretty happy. Z Free going down, not great. They want to be getting their Blink Dagger up on him as quickly as possible. It's uh, very crucial these team fights getting on top of this Terror Blade and blowing him up. Uh, but when you, you trade for uh, the offlaner there, uh, you don't hate it. In fact, Grumlo isn't doing that much better than their Shaker. <laughs> you look at it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I was the harbinger of that. Wait, wait, wait. could have finished off Goat there. Dyer's the Fisher. Tower is under attack. I think. I think so. That was weird. Maybe he didn't have the range. It wasn't being super close to his uh, positioning there. But yeah, another fight going the way of Arkosh there. Now 4k net worth up. And now on the back foot, I mean, we talked Dyer's about the importance of uh, the tier one tower and them taking it so early last game two base. Well, shoes on the other foot now. Arkosh now it's suddenly very easy for them to invade your jungle. And that's what they're doing. Just now the courier had brought it out to him. That's uh, flying back to base and didn't <laughs> find the kill because of it. Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I mean, everything's coming up Arkosh now. They lost the last tier one tower they had in top lane there. Goes the way of Pale Horse. 5k net worth advantage here. And you're gonna start to need items to turn this one. You need that Orchid online on the Nature's Prophet. You gotta get this Yule Scepter up on the Death Prophet as soon as possible. You need your Blink Dagger and Earthshaker. But how do you find the space for this when, you know, the Arkosh are here? They're invading your side of the map. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Radiant are scanning. I mean, they're gonna have to route this. this is the only way that I, I see them coming out on top here. After death here, and this is you know the strength of controlling this mid tower. They they try to take the fight over here, won't become such an easy act at this point. Bringing the farm to Pale Horse basically there, and because they died, right, there's no way that you get into Roach right now. That is, that is a very very bold move. Yeah. Yeah. No possessed mask on him either, so. Gonna have to give that one up for now. Uh, Z Freak just doing all he can to, to make up for them dying on the other side of the map. They're trying to farm up that blink dagger like uh, we keep talking about, but still a very long ways off. Only sitting at 960 gold right now. Until the 20 minute mark, it's very difficult. And even then, you know, thanks to the Crystal Maiden, uh, this Frostbite, uh, you can always grab one of the two Super Trains from the Nature's Prophet. You have 10 seconds on creeps. One falters. I'll take that. Hmm. I think he's just. You know, trying to, to farm the dangerous areas of the map. If the enemies come over to him, you know, great. Make space for the rest of his team. But again, Blink Dagger is pretty important. Still a long ways off. Now 17 minutes in the game. Tier 2 neutral items will start to drop here. But uh, the 20-minute mark is really what uh, Simply 2 based are waiting for. Once you have that egg and shard on the NP, the pushing becomes a little bit easier. Uh, the essence ring pretty important item to grab uh, i imagine they'll give that to the death prophet just so she's able to stay alive as they come in onto her He can't find anything, and you know, part of it comes to farming dangerous areas of the map. Uh, they don't control anything, you know, even with the nature's profit with the, the map control they should have from this, it, it's hard for him to do anything. And yeah, he does actually have a. Oh no. Imperian. change actually went in favor of Arkosh there. Well, it counted uh, both. It counted the, sorry, the Earthshaker death as well in that last team fight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this item is incredible. Uh, tear away with the, uh, the metamorphosis for 10 seconds now. It's just way too good, especially with the Mars Arena. I mean, he pops that uh, while people are trapped inside the arena. They're just forced to walk into the wall again and again as he just rips them apart. It is absolutely insane. It, this is like the big brain item pick up this game. Radiant structures are fortified. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah. So any any time that uh, you just drop the arena of blood, it's committed. You just use Tarot Wave right after. Radiant's I mean, it's like the, the Phoenix A combo, except attack. with a lot of right click damage. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, anytime it looks like you're getting a favorable engagement, you know, you uh, just drop that tear wave after getting on top of people. They're all suddenly forced back and the fight is Dyer's reset. Top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom yeah. tower is uh, under attack. See you this Horn of the realm. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to investigate this one. Talk to the admins or something afterwards. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Hey, this is illegal. Are you seeing this? It's barely. I don't even think they're visually different. The greater treants. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They look exactly the same. Your spirit leaves your body. Can they do that? Radiance bottom tower uh. is under attack. I mean, look at what these small treants are doing to your tier 3 tower. It's down to 1,000 HP. He's summoning it again. See, they look exactly the same over here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. This is ridiculous. <laughs> k network down they've been able to take a fight in ages it's 21 to 7 they just lost their tier 3 tower and you can just come back and do it again afterwards and as soon as you know you open up these tier twos so the way it shoves it naturally thanks to the range barracks going down the game becomes much easier for them but arkosh you know they are feeling incredibly strong Once they, they have BKBs, uh, I, I think it's just game over for uh, the suck. Still a very favorable fight. BKB committed there on uh, the Lesh rack as well. Radiant's and net worth and XP both heavily attack. favoring the side of Arkosh after that last team fight of a thousand gold swing for them. But this game, you know, you can't afford to go down like that on the Nature's Profit anymore. You need your team to be taking these fights for Dyer's you while you continue to split push attack. and shove around the map. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Speaking of split pushing, you're about to get punished here on monkeys. Kind of handy. 
two heroes they lost there and the net worth xp continue to go in their favor nature's profit doing all he can boris uh shoving out the bottom lane but right now it's just way too difficult complete map domination for markov and they committed the metamorphosis they took that fight right beside the pit and you know, before he didn't have any of the hp to be able to take this but now it's no problem terribly to rip this rose apart Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Your shot is not a radiant. Radiant's bottom barracks has fallen. <laughs> I, I think we are going to hit a point where our cock is just too strong. Never mind! Grabble! It's like that. I mean, that's uh, the map control. Everybody gets over there, no problem at all. And the damage from this outworld, I mean, it's absolutely insane. All he really needs is a, a Blink Dagger Meteor Hammer. Once he has this BKB, he becomes practically unkillable. Death Ward doing basically nothing to him. is uh, It's still level 1 Death Ward, only doing 85 damage a tick. Dyer's top yeah. Top is under I mean, OD is a decent agi gain, decent base armor, sitting at 13 despite having no uh, real armor items. He's going for one. <laughs> Or 90 second cooldown. Radiant's uh, dropping in as often as he feels. Not a super huge cooldown. Oh, Canis now beyond godlike. Imperium ends up dropping. Or still beyond godlike. <laughs> I, I mean, you can continue to split push here on this Nature's Prophet, but uh, I, as I was talking about, eventually you're going to get to a point where it just Radiant's doesn't matter. They're going to be so much stronger than you that there's. They're just going to throw the, their heads uh, against your, your tier threes, against your racks, and end the game. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's courier has been killed. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I, I'm not sure how they take this guy down. I mean, they have to get an amazing initiation. I'm not sure they have the, the damage anymore. Uh, it's it's all like damage over time right now. They have no super hard carry. It's Death Prophet with the Exorcism. Uh, you know, some Earthshaker spells to burst them down. Boris, he's not built like he was last game with the, the Mjolnir and the MKB to blow heroes up. He's all split pushing at this point. Dyer's top top is under attack. under attack absolutely there's so little they're able to do right now take these fights and like you said uh, he's sitting on all this gold his teammates can't find any it's all them making space for for boris here who can't decide what the best item is to win this game or how he can win this for his team bkb he's had queued up and he does end up grabby which will save him from a lot of the od damage but it's not going to do anything for him against this tb It's 
It's gotta be. Yeah. Probably just gonna be uh, an abyssal blade, get on top of people, stop uh, them from getting away from him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. quite the hero. I mean, Kinnis has had uh, a pretty good performance this game, but just showcasing how strong he is, and uh, again, no solution, no damage to actually bring this guy down. They can't burst him. He's always going to be able to get uh, an Astral Prisman off on himself or be able to get his BKB off and then eventually get away. They couldn't deal with him in the early game. They lost all these early fights, and because of that, they're just snowballing off, uh, off the back of it. A tithe to the impurity. Backdoor protection just came out uh, as that nearly rack was dropped. Oh no. Now, packs against the wall here. Uh, and again, that is, uh, they're, they're trying to take advantage of the backdoor protection right now, splitting the waves all they can, but. Uh, the end up losing the melee rack just a moment before back to our production ended up kicking in there so this, this is what i was talking about though eventually they're going to have such an advantage they're going to be so much stronger than the, the heroes on uh, two base that they can just throw their heads against the wall radiance top and, uh, tower has fallen during the tower is clearing the game here z freak uh potentially setting up on someone who's going to defend from boris here this is a very risky move. Multiple heroes move in to defend from you. All right, and this is uh, the back door that I was talking about. This is <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. You open up multiple lanes, suddenly you can do this. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Yep, there it is. Gave him vision, but it didn't matter. Doesn't interrupt it. Come, come. <laughs> yeah, a little bit to the uh, the right there, and he'd be very dead. This game would be a whole lot harder. Speaking of, uh, make the game harder. Roshan gonna respond another five seconds here. Cap movement speed, push everybody back for uh, two and a half seconds. He's gonna rip people apart with this one. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, again, you can try to shove the lanes, but even if you, you shove it bottom, I mean, there's no way that you take down these tier fours. And at this point, you're so strong here on the Terrorblade that you can just rip through the tier fours in the Ancient, no problem at all. Uh, It works very well with the Aghanim Scepter, that's for sure. Radiance bottom Now they're going for these uh, ranger axes as well. Ends up denying his own tree. It's okay. Hides him in the trees over here. They're gonna find them though. I mean, they're still in it. The, the major question mark is if they can take down this tier two tower, which is untouched at this point, still sitting at 2,500 HP. So they're gonna need Mega Creeps to, to actually be able to win this game and, you know, keep uh, the heroes in Arkosh shoved inside their base enough or keep the creeps strong enough for them to actually have uh, potential to end. Which... Probably in the meta. I mean, it... Is he really afraid of getting uh, taken to low HP? Is my question. Dyer's courage has been killed. Radiant's top towers are under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle Back barracks are under though. attack. Dyer's middle barracks is falling. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. Dyer's bottom barracks is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's yeah. top tower has fallen. I mean, it's in 10 seconds is really all you need to be able to take down multiple fuel the kind of damage a terrible blade pumps out especially when you're this farmed and when you have swift link to gap that distance and the yeah, eyes got to slow people down if they're uh, running away from you I hate to say it, but I gotta. They've, <laughs> they've awoken. Metamorphosis with this uh, terror wave. I mean, uh, just incredible gameplay. OD or terror wave haven't gotten down a single time this game. But, well, OD's gone down just now, but prior to that. And it cost you your entire base.
Almost looks like they're gonna keep their promise of making this a 90 minute game right now. Holding all of us hostage. <laughs> Leveler to, to close things out if so they need it. If they even need it. I mean, they're gonna hold on to this uh, illusionist cave, which makes the most sense to me. It is now expiring. Well, they're not giving up yet here on two base though. I'm not sure what their way back in this game is. 40 minutes in, 36k net worth advantage here on Arkosh. Just by. No, they brought him low, but he did get that sender off. As you mentioned, now just waiting for Earth Spirit to come back up for them to close out this game here, I imagine. I mean, the map is theirs. They can even wait for this next Roche if they choose. I think Crow's AFK. He's just been sitting there for the last minute. Well, 30 seconds. I exaggerated slightly. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. I gotta give it up for them. It was an incredible game. They dealt with the split pushing the nature's profit.